Republican representative Lauren Boebert, uh, spent a portion of the 20th uh, anniversary of the 9-11 attacks at the, uh, truth and Liberty coalition at Cheris Bible college, where she gave a speech and she called upon her fellow, I guess, Christian warriors to somehow help her remove through impeachment, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Here's what, uh, Boebert had to say about this. When we see Biden address the nation and the world and show more contempt and aggravation and aggression towards unvaccinated Americans than he does terrorists, we have a problem. And that's why I have articles of impeachment to impeach Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. We cannot take another 18 months. We cannot take another three years of this poor failed leadership. We are sons and daughters of revolutionaries. They went to battle for a lot less. They took a stand for a lot less and it's time we get involved. I need you involved at every local level. I need you speaking up. I need the world to hear your voice. You know, the word of God, you know, that there is power in your words and the world was framed by your words. You have the Lord God almighty on your side. I need you to use your voice and speak. Hold up. <laughs> they fought for a lot less. The, the revolution, uh, they, they fought for the formation of the United States itself. Are you telling me Lauren? that you're so ignorant about American history that you don't understand what the revolutionary war was all about. And that you think fighting back against a vaccine mandate, which isn't even again, really a mandate. You think that's bigger than what the founders of the United States of America did. Cause if so, you're totally a lot dumber than I thought. I mean, don't get me wrong. I give you absolutely no credit in the intellect department, but if you're saying what I think you're saying from this, then you're even worse than even I could have ever imagined because no, Lauren, you're not fighting back against tyranny. You're not fighting back against oppression. You're not fighting back against taxation without representation. You're literally fighting to allow a deadly virus to continue to kill your base. That's what you're doing. You're fighting for the right for the idiots who follow you to drop dead. And here you are asking these good little Christian prayer warriors to help you to, to help you what impeach Joe and Kamala for what? See, that's what gets me about this too. It's like, you didn't even list why because failed leadership, failed leadership again on what? on what and bad leadership is not a high crime and or misdemeanor. Therefore you have no legal argument for actually impeaching the guy. Mitch McConnell even came out and said, this is ridiculous. We're not impeaching anybody. Now let's get back to obstructing the entire agenda. It ain't going to happen. Lauren, most people in this country don't even want it to happen. They don't even want to entertain the idea. You're losing, you're losing this fight, but more importantly, People are dying because you're losing the fight. You're fighting back against something, this vaccine mandate, which again, for the private sector, you can opt out and you can just do weekly testing. You sit there for 15 minutes after you get the nasal swab, you wait for the test to come back negative. You go back to work for the next week, or it comes back positive. You quarantine, you infect fewer people. How is that a bad thing? As for the military, you know, federal employees too. Um, military, you already have to have a schedule of at least, I think it's 17 or 18 different vaccines before you can enter the military. You have to have certain vaccines before you can attend a public school here in the United States, before you can attend a private daycare here in the United States. Why? Because you have a lot of people in relatively close quarters that could easily spread diseases among each other. So that's not even new. You're just adding one more to the schedule here. This isn't tyranny. This isn't oppression. This isn't medical experimentation as Republicans want to tell us now. This is science. This is infectious diseases that we're fighting against. And we've beaten diseases in the past. We have, and we didn't have this kind of pushback from morons listening to people even dumber than them, like Lauren Boebert telling them to not do it. Because that's the difference today, folks. If we had had these same morons around, we'd still be fighting smallpox in the United States. 
we'd still have people dropping from polio every other day. These people are anti-science. The anti-vaxxers are anti-science to the same degree that climate change deniers are. And now here we have a representative calling again on her Christian prayer warriors to somehow remove Joe Biden and Kamala Harris from office just because they don't want more people to die. That's about as Republican as you can get folks, because that is what they stand for today. If Democrats want people to live, then clearly Republicans have to fight for your right to die. 